Okay, here's the end of the trough. It's shaped like the graph of y equals x to the 10th from negative one to one. Uh, the trough is also seven feet long. I haven't tried to, to complete the diagram there. But the idea is that we're gonna divide the amount of water, which the tank, the trough is full into infinitely many of these little thin slices. And we want to find out how much work is involved in moving each slice over the top of the trough. And to do that, well, work is the distance that that slice is moved times the weight of that slice. And the weight of that slice is the volume of the slice times its density. In this case, pounds per cubic foot. So how here's a typical slice of water right here. How far is that slice moved? Well, it's moved this far. And that distance is really the Y coordinate at the top minus the Y coordinate at the bottom, which is just Y. So there is how far uh, this slice is moved. I have it set at 0.5. So that means this particular slice would be moved half a foot. The slice down here would be moved quite a bit further. Okay, now, uh, what's the weight of the slice? Well, if y equals x to the 10th, then x equals the 10th root or y to the 1 tenth. That means for each y from 0 to 1, this distance right here is the 10th root of whatever that y is. So the, and since this is a, an even function, this distance also will be that same distance, y to the one-tenth. So if you think of this as a rectangular solid with a very small height, dy, the width of that slice is two of these y to the one-tenths. The length is seven feet to go to the other end of the trough, and dy represents the thickness. So here we go. The amount of work required to move a slice is its distance, 1 minus y, times its weight. Well, the weight is the volume. Well, the volume is this width, 2 y to the 1 tenths, times 7, times dy, and times the density, 62 pounds per cubic foot. That's how much that slice of water weighs. So. And how many slices? We're going to move infinitely many slices from zero to one. It's like a Riemann sum. So if I multiply two times seven times 62, I got 868. Move that out front. Integrate from zero to one of one minus y. That's the distance the slice moves times y to the one tenth <clears throat> times dy, which is the thickness of each slice. So I won't complete this, but we would probably rewrite this as y to the one tenth minus y to the 10 tenths plus one tenth is 11 tenths dy and then find an antiderivative. I, when I evaluated that, I got 375 point something. I don't remember what, exactly what it was. Uh, but I'll send a link to the Desmos graph, and that's got the solution. So there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment.